What's up guys and girls, welcome back to the Hustler Casino in sunny Los Angeles, gonna bombard you with as many hands as possible from this 5-5-10 cash game session. Straight into the action we go today, I'm four minutes into the session, I pick up Ace, Queen, Offsuit in the big blind. The game looks kinda reggy today, we've got a reg opening it up in the cutoff, another reg calling on the button, and another reg squeezing out of the middle blind to $180. I of course can't call with my hand, and I sure as hell ain't folding, so I use my hand as a cold 4-bet bluff, I make it $400 to go it's a little small but remember this is a $1,500 cap game so I think my size is just about okay maybe could go 425 it falls back right to the middle blind who sits back in his chair and he tells me he's not going to do anything until he's finished ordering his food he then takes 90 seconds putting in a very lavish brunch order before I tell him to hurry it up a little bit come right come on all right in all in fold I had a four bet fold hand I'm not about that fake tank fold life, so when he goes all in, I just snap fold my hand and immediately add on $400 just in time as the very next hand I pick up a couple of J-Boys in the middle blind. The cutoff raises to $30, I put in the 3-bet to $125. He makes the call and the dealer spreads out a rather lovely Jack 7-3 with a flush draw. Pretty wet board here, lots of straight draws and the flush draw. Same bet for me as pre-flop, I went $125. Unfortunately, the cutoff does not of a continuing hand. As he mucks, I show him that I had top set. We're all friends here, here at the Hustler Casino. A very busy start to the day for me here, playing two hands in the first five minutes. And I'm back in the mix just 20 minutes later when I pick up Ace King in the blinds. Under the gun makes it $35 to go. The button makes the call and I put in the squeeze to $160. Under the gun clearly respects my raise, but the button clearly doesn't. He makes the call. And we go heads up to a flop of Ace, 10-6 with two spades. Top top is always a good hand. I bet out for $120 and once again I flop really well and my opponent falls to my c-bet maybe I need to start checking some of these strong hands sometimes and allow my opponent to bluff next up the straddle is on and for once it's not me in it I'm in the cutoff with ace eight of diamonds I raised to $50 it falls right into the straddle and he defends gotta defend your straddle with any two that is solver approved to the flop we go it is king queen queen with two diamonds pretty good start here with the nut flush draw I see right here for $40 around one third pot he makes a call what a boring six of spades turn card that is no help to me just yet my opponent checks and i decide to check back nothing boring about that river though it is the four of diamonds the straddle checks what's our size i decide to go quite big here i bet 275 dollars it's live poker and people don't fold he's probably got a king and he might think i'm bluffing so i go for the over bet and it is gonna work here i get paid off i show my hand and the straddle looks a little annoyed as he mucks a bunch of medium-sized pots played so far today how about we play a big one i'm in the straddle just five minutes later with king deuce of spades under the gun makes it 60 dollars to go the small blind calls and i of course come along as well three ways to the flop it is 10 10 4 with two spades and one heart good start for me here flopping a flush draw and happy to see it check all the way around the turn is the six of hearts two flush draws on board now the small blind bets out here for 125 dollars and i decide to put in the raise i've got a lot of 10x here i make it 360 to go i really don't love this side here in hindsight i think around 425 dollars is much better not great for me here at all the small blind clearly agrees he makes the call to the river it's the three of spades gazzy b flush rivering machine the small blind then lead jams for 900 dollars really wasn't expecting that i lose to some weirdly played boats and the nut flush but if he's got any of those hands then he can just have my money i make the call and he instantly says you're good that's exactly what you want to hear when you call a river jam the biggest part of the day so far coming my way and i've gone from being down 600 dollars to up around 1k really hoping to keep that upward trajectory going when an hour later i pick up eight five of hearts once again in the straddle the hijack makes it 60 to go the button calls and this is a little bit too loose but how am i going to make it to a million subs on youtube if i fold these hands i of course call as well we go three ways to nine seven four with two spades and one heart it checks to the button and he bets out for a hundred dollars i've got a gut shot a backdoor flush draw and i'm running well today so i decide to to make the call we go heads up to the turn here it's a rather dicey 10 of hearts open-ended straight draw and a flush draw now for me the button bets 325 dollars and it's never ideal calling big turn bets out of position with just eight high but we have a big combo draw so i do make the call to the river it's an 
8. I make third pair, but I'm rarely going to be good here. And sure enough, after it goes check check, I lose to King 10 of spades. Two very big hands on the turn there, but you can't hit every draw. Now, it's been a minute since we've had a double board PLO bomb pot hand on the Gazi B vlog, and this one today is a doozy. Stick with me here during my shoddy editing. I have Queen, Jack, Jack, 10, and these are the two flops. Middle set with top set blocker on the bottom board, and a backdoor straight draw to go along with it on the top boards. MP is bet out for $175. I am on the button and decide to just call. Don't want to go crazy just yet. The big blend though, he goes crazy. He makes it 825 to go with about 700 behind. MP then goes all in for around $1,500 total. I don't mind getting it in heads up, but three ways. This is a little bit gross. We've just got a set and nothing else on the top board. Still though, I'm a total PLO double board bomb pot fish. I'm at the call having them both covered and the big blind calls as well. We have a three-way all-in. The big blind has got ace, ace, five, five with two diamonds and MP has got eight, eight, seven, four with two clubs. The turn on the top board is an absolute dream turn. I've now got a great chance to scoop here, but both boards run out brick, brick and we end up chopping up the big blind's money. Very big hand for him there and he actually loses both boards. These PLO double board bomb pot hands are pretty sickening. Back to the hold and we go now. No straddle in this next hand. Under the gun is min raised to $20 and I punish that min raise nonsense next to act by making it 75 to go with six five of hearts the big blind is going to cold call and then under the gun folds we go heads up to the flop it is jack nine four with two clubs i decide to see bet here planning to just one and done it about a hundred dollars he makes the call and as i tell myself i'm done with the hand and off suit ace rolls off have to bluff that turn right i bet again for 230 dollars this is not going to get the job done though as the big blind makes the call to the river it's another ace not the best river in the world to bluff but i'm not about that check down six high life so when the big blind checks again i just go for it i announce 500 dollars and my opponent absolutely snap folds let's go i really didn't think that one was getting through but he told me afterwards he had five three of clubs it would have been so sick if i checked that down and actually won winning lots of nice size pots today not losing too many either it's a very nice combination next up i'm in the big blind with pocket nines early position makes it 35 dollars to go mp makes the call i come along for the ride as well we go three ways to ace deuce deuce with one spade i check as do the other two players to the turn we go boom it is the nine of spades what is this heater today dream turn here i've got a full house and i decide to get a little sneaky i check hoping to induce a bet and under the gun obliges in the form of 50 dollars MP gets out of the way and I bust out the check raise to $200. Under the gun makes the call. Really happy to see him continue here. And an offsuit four rolls off on the river was kind of hoping that a spade hit. Now there's $500 in there and I've got a nutted hand and I unblock the ace. So I once again decide to overbet the river. This time for $675. My opponent thinks about it for a very long time. And just when I think I might have gotten a little too greedy with my size here, he makes the call. I turn my hand over and yet another lovely pot is coming my way. It has been such an easy grind today and with the game slowly dying, I am hoping to squeeze just a little more money out of it before we finish. Five-handed now, I'm in the cutoff with ace-queen offsuit. I make it 30 to go. The small blind likes his hand. He puts in the three bet to $130. The big blind clearly likes his hand as well as he cold calls. Now, I normally wouldn't mind a four bet here to isolate the big blind's weak cold call range, but we're very deep with the small blind here, so I decide against it and just make the call. To the flop we go, it is nine, seven, six with two spades. It checks to me and I'd probably start bluffing here heads up versus the small blind but the big blind connects kind of well with this board so I decide to just take a free card pretty good free card at that it's an offsuit queen it checks to me again and I bet out now for $275 the small blind thinks about it for a little while and then very unexpectedly check raises me to $975 really did not expect to see that it falls to me and after that $975 he's got about 2k behind on the one hand he reps very little here with this check flop check raise turn line but on the other hand, I have shoved or called this spot a million times in the past before and lost every single time. So I decide to make a bit of a ridiculous hero fault here and let my hand go. I'm so curious to see what he's got. So I ask him if he can show me a bluff. Show me a sick bluff. <laughs> <laughs> that is a sick bluff. I almost wish I didn't ask. I cannot believe he has turned over ace four of diamonds. It is a ridiculous hero fold from me. And my opponent has turned over ace four of diamonds. All you can do is tap the table and say nice hand.
All right, last hand of the session. We're now four-handed, about to finish up for the day here. A pro on the button opens to $25. I make a 110 from the small blind with queen, jack of spades. He makes the call. We go heads up to jack, 9-5 with two diamonds. It's not a great flop for us here, and we definitely don't range bet. And we protect our checking range with some marginal top pairs. So I check to him, and he decides to check back. The turn is an offsuit deuce, and once again, I decide to get a little sneaky sneaky here and check once more. This is going to get the button to bite. He bets $150. $50. I put on my best, I have ace king and don't love it face, and then make the call. The river is another ducky, a very clean run out here, I check once more, and he bets once more for $350. I make a very quick call and he announces jack. Is it ace jack? King jack? Nope, it's jack 10 for a worse kicker than mine, and I drag in my final pot of the day. It was actually also my final pot of this trip. Three hours after winning that hand, I was at the airport ready to fly back to sunny London. A very nice final session, winning $30. $3,653. An awesome few weeks here in LA. I finished up around 16 k for the three weeks that I was there. But this is not the end of the LA Diaries. I was actually back in LA just before the World Series of Poker and I've got some really awesome vlogs to make from that time. They'll be released very soon. So do me a favor and click that sub button so you don't miss them. Spoiler alert, one of them has my biggest ever losing day and you definitely don't want to miss that. Until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. Take it easy.